Hey everybody and welcome back to the next episode of The Mashup and this is basically a video that I've put together of songs that have been released this month and hopefully by bands that you love and hopefully by bands that you'll actually think Do you know what I'm going to go check these out these could be my new favourite band so basically you're going to get a mashup of the whether it's rock, metal, pop whatever that I've seen come across in the week that we think Do you know what let's get to these artists and see what they're bringing so I have eight artists that we're going to go through some of them have actually sent little personal videos as well so like a little bit about the song or a little bit about them i'm actually really hyped to see that part as well because it's really good to see something about the bands in as well as you know their music and their music videos it's nice to get that kind of like one-on-one -on -one with the bands but let's get into it and let's see what we're getting from the first one first up we've got set for tomorrow and this is their song love me not We've got a little bit from the band though. As I mentioned, we do have a clip from them. So we're going to jump over and see what that has. What, what, what they're basically going to say about the song or them in that clip in a second. But over on Spotify, I do like to read the about you sections and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm the only person that actually reads these. But <laughs> I'll read them for you. I'll read them for you. Now this band has well 50,000 monthly listeners. Which is awesome. Now, hailing from Richmond, VA, Sever de Moria is a metalcore quintet determined to make their mark on the music scene. They have unique sound, blending blistering metalcore riffs and catchy melodies guaranteed to get stuck in your head while also delivering high energy performance. I mean, there's the opening. That's why I like that kind of stuff because it makes me interested in the bands, you know? Right, over to this. Hey, I'm Aiken from Set for Tomorrow, and thanks for listening to Love Me Not. So we wrote this song about wishy-washy relationships people have in their personal lives, be it more so about like if you're successful or come across success, everybody wants to be your friend, and in that same vein, if you hit rock bottom or have some troubled times, everyone seems to be ready to jump ship. Um, I love references, so I specifically was in the They Love Me, They Love Me Not was actually in, refer in reference to uh, that kid's game, He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not, where someone takes a daisy and they pick a pedal and alternate their thought process uh, between each pedal. I love the back and forthness and the inconsistency and the immaturity there in that game. So it's it's a really good, I felt like it was a very good representation of the of that general concept. Thank you guys for listening and I hope you enjoy Love Me Not. Much love. Yeah, you know that that game. I'd forgotten all about that, but I like that reference because without that, I, I wouldn't have put the pieces together. You know, <laughs> the song title itself, "Love Me Not," "Love Me, Love Me Not." You know, and to be fair, another question though: if he ever did that, if it landed on the one you didn't like, you'd just kind of pretend it was another another petal and just do it. If you were like, "I'm going to go out tonight," I'm not going to go out tonight. You get, I'm not going to go out tonight. You're like, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm going out tonight. But let's dive into this song, Love Me Not, and see what the band's bringing. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at his brother. Rips. They promise the deliverance so far. Lad can sing. Ooh. There you go. They love me, they love me not. I love it, man. Come on, come on, drop, come on. My headset nearly went flying. Hell yeah. Right, I need some of this. Somebody crashed his headset down. Love this song. <laughs> Love it. It's 
insanely good. Why is it the first time this is I'm here and I'm criminal? That had everything for me. That had everything for me. Love me, love me not. I loved it. I absolutely loved that. That was insanely good. So good. Vocals, right? I'm as a singer, right? I'm always gonna be homing in on thinking, right, what is this singer's capability? What what are they showcasing right now? And he's got the melodics, he's got the fry, he's got the false, he's just packing a bag of tricks that I love in metalcore, you know. First time here in Seth for Tomorrow, and it will not be the last. That I need to go and see live. Seth for Tomorrow, get to the UK and, you know, get playing here because I will be there. That was incredible. I absolutely loved it. First time hearing them, and I can't wait to read what you have to say. So drop some comments about that song. Oh, like... I almost ran out of room. I almost lost my hat. You know, what I mean? <laughs> my headset. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Right next, we have Letters Sent Home. Now, Letters Sent Home. If you watched last week's, you'll already be familiar because I'll have read this. But there we go. Around the forty thousand monthly listeners, I am a big fan of theirs. You know, the songs that I've heard so far, and this one literally dropped the other day so this one's called final battle which i think this is the final release before their actual full you know ep or album release so quite fit and title really but across three well-received eps sad hard music german quintet a uh, quartet sorry uh letters sent home have made their name as a band who match infectious melody and huge choruses with the lyrical depth and heart of people with a lot to say and that is so true and i i always go back always go back to the first song i heard from them which was i hope i die first so we've got a little bit of a clip from emily's well lead singer of letters sent home i love this band i can't wait to hear what she has to say let's let's hear this i am emily from letters sent home we're a band from northern germany and we don't really like to restrict ourselves to one genre so if you're interested in what we sound like you should definitely check us out or just watch this reaction video by Gas Mesh who doesn't only react to this song but has also reacted to um, a couple other singles that we dropped um, recently so thank you so much for checking that out and for reacting. With this single Final Battle we're dealing with religious trauma so if you relate or just want to know about it uh, check it out and uh, thank you so much. <laughs> No, I love the message. You know, they're such an upbeat band and, and they're right. You know, the, the two songs that I've heard before have been wonderfully, wonderfully produced. And I love, love their sound. You know, Emily's vocal, brilliant. And the music in the band is so fantastic. Let's get into this song and see what they're bringing with Final Battle. Love the mix on those drums. That 
voice, man. Change it up there. I'm, I'm a fan anyway. You need to hear them. How good is this though? How good is it? So far, I have nothing but love for the songs released from Letters Sent Home. Vocally, Beautiful, musically wonderful. It's like I can't keep still. When I fight the final battle, leave me black and blue. I, I want to read these lyrics. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I wonder, do we have, do we might, we might not. Oh, we do, we do. Um, I want to read the chorus from when I fight the final battle, destroy the Tower of Babel. I realize I escape a cult leaving black and blues, black and blues. And you know what it is? I love the music. I love how it the layers is the is so well produced. Just so well produced. The first thing I notice is the drums on that track. You know, that just if you're a drummer, you know you'll know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm playing the best air drums in that because let's face it, if I I can't sing along with it yet because I don't know it. But if I was singing along with it, that would kinda you'd be like, shut the hell up. <laughs> We want to listen, we want to listen to her sing the track, you know. <laughs> Let's go on to the next. We've got the band Our Promise with their new song, Hijack. Now, I have heard them before. They've got this wonderful blend of music and vocals just down, absolutely down. They are a heavy hitter, what I would call a heavy hitter, over on Spotify as well. So you might know of them, but if not, like all the other bands we've had so far and to come you're in for a treat but they have 270,000 monthly listeners over on spotify our promise are an explosive gem of metalcore sextet rising from the ashes of their of their past formed in late 2020 by musicians looking to embrace new frontiers the band has crafted blistering twin vocal assault that blends metalcore hardcore and pop punk what more do you want? <laughs> what more do you want? But this one is also an artist that we do have a message from. So let me lower that up and let's let's see what we let's see what we're gonna get. Yo guys, what's up? This is Raf from All Promise. Um, I'm doing vocals and I'm one of their songwriters. I'm in charge of writing all the vocal stuff and all the lyrics and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, well, with this particular release, Hijack, I think we've released a very personal song. Um, I wrote this song about a topic that has been bothering me for probably my entire life without me even noticing it. Um, and uh, I actually also never even wanted to talk about that specific kind of stuff. But I think I found a way to, to express my feelings without giving too much context. So you guys um, have plenty of room to interpret in your own way and maybe even relate to it. So I really hope you like the song. Thanks for checking us out, Gas, and see you soon. Wow. You know, like to have some music in general. And there's when we when we write music as musicians, when we're writing those lyrics, we are 
Um, it may not always be reflective on personal life, but you are literally storytelling. You know, and it is an immersive experience. And when you take, you know, something either you're going through or, you know, someone's gone through and put that into a song, it becomes an incredible, per incredibly personal thing. And, and you can see that from the message. And thanks very much for that, bro. And it's, it's always a brave step to put something personal into a song and see what you get from it. Let's see what you get from this. And it's going to be, I'm already excited for it. I'm a little bit biased because I already like, I already like our promise. <laughs> but let's dive into this song. And I can't wait to wait to hear what you think of it as well. Come on. Give you our promise. Premium. what it needed. Knockout punch. So well put together. Melody's incredible. Screams magical. Riffs insanely good and drums on point. This is one that needs to go on repeat. God damn. Crippingly good. Emotion full force there, like.
like for me it was just pure hype energy elation right like literally incredibly loving that from an energy perspective and then when we get to that breakdown that slow part in his voice and the lyrics everything just hit it just stopped still for me there it just stopped still because i felt it then you know i kind of i got over the excitement and over the and the energy just in that moment to actually feel the song you know what i mean <laughs> And there you go, like that whole approach with the two vocalists, well, you know, two perfectly brilliant singers and the scream, you know, and we talk about a nice crispy fry scream. That was so crispy, it was burnt to a cinder, you know what I mean? It was perfect, absolutely perfect. Musically, lyrically, melodically, guitars, drums, just, just bringing me those chunky riffs obviously excited about it big fan of the band and i hope if this is the first time that you're hearing i'll promise that you you know you're gonna go check them out i would love to see them live i would absolutely love to see them live because i know the ability is there and it will be in a moment a brilliant moment next up <laughs> i'm gonna be exhausted at the end of this it's brilliant <laughs> Hope I haven't jinxed it now. You know what I mean? <laughs> this, um, and shout out as well, by the way, because every single band, record label, or PR firm have been contacted so that we can put these playlists together. You know, so shout out, much appreciation to every single one of you. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, and that very much goes for this next artist as well. So this, I will be surprised if you don't know porter robinson like i discovered porter robinson well i say i well I, it was suggested one of his songs was suggested in a live stream that we do over, over on twitch right and it was the song shelter now shelter is this oh like you think you've had an emotional music video you think you've experienced that stomach that heavy stomach and your heart dropping I mean, if you, you do go watch Shelter, Shelter, it was an incredible experience. It broke. It, anyway, watch it. Because if I say anything and you haven't seen it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is Porter Robinson's new song, Cheerleader. Now, this literally has just come out. Now, I am just going over to Spotify. Now, heavy hitter. And I mean this, like two million monthly listeners and again appreciate you this <laughs> about section though is just a smiley face <laughs> which to be fair with Paul robinson makes sense that it, it really does just make sense but um a little bit he's like an american dj record producer mu musician uh singer edm you know vocal changes he just does so much he really really does a lot um so just go check them out. I legit. I, it's one artist that is on my list of must see lives at some point. Somehow has to happen. But this is Porter Robinson with the song Cheerleader. Off. Take us on this one. <laughs> it's just so cool. Like a karaoke bar, maybe in Japan, sort of vibe. Porter build a bit. <laughs> like it. Look. 
this song. This video was so much fun. Your fault, you're living in a madhouse. I can't back down. Aren't you tired of blending into the background? She's got hearts in her eyes. Saying, Boy, you better watch the time. So, like, brilliant because I'm listening attentively to the lyrics and still smiling away while I'm working this out. It's just such an upbeat vibe in his songs. You know, shelter it, you know, whatever, but <laughs> come on, hit me again. Here we go. I love the animation on this. See those moments where you stop. That was one. Paul Robinson hitting you with the lyrics right there. I love this release. Don't be done. I think it is. Right, so what we know is that it is gonna be um like that's the first first release, I think, from the upcoming album, um, from Porter. It was again another one of those moments. It was a moment, you know, it's just him in his room and all the the imagery, all the <laughs> brilliantly made music videos kind of stripped away for a moment. It's just him on his bed with his guitar. And you know what it is? It just makes my emo heart <laughs> like so happy. Like he's just this perfect, perfect writing ability. But it was almost like seeing your personal cheerleader. So like your, your, your girlfriend or your partner, whomever that may be. Um, you thought like she needed you, but really you needed her. Um, you, do you wish her well? Or, or do you wish she was still, you know, still there you know it's one of those songs that i want to dive into even more but i felt that song it was so wonderfully done and what did i say about these playlists i'm not sticking to one genre it's literally <laughs> whatever comes my way on that day a lot of the time it is metal and rock it is it's just it's just one of the one of the main streams of music for me but that was special and porter i need to see him live I love he you know the changes he does to his voice as well. Like this one was was you can he really throws it out there sometimes. This one was quite restrained. More in the pop genre for Porter. This one for me flexed a different way to to what I'm used to from Porter. For, for, I haven't heard all of his songs, but I've definitely heard quite a few of them, and I enjoyed it. It made me feel good until obviously that moment where it literally made me dive emotionally into the lyrics. But I'm sat there smiling, bopping away. You know what I mean? just has this brilliant presence in, tra in tracks and I can't wait to hear more from this release. I really can't. 
Next up, we've got Falling at Dawn. Now, Falling at Dawn, I have known this band for, I want to say two, maybe three years ish. <laughs> right? So, I used to be um, the lead singer of a band called uh, This Dying Hour. Um, this, and we were, at the point that I was in the band, you know, I'd, I'd reached out to, to Jimmy, who's the singer of Falling at Dawn, and we were chatting, and we, were, we were planning on doing gigs together and things like that so it's good to see you know, they're still going and going strong by all accounts but i'm ready for this one we do have a message from the band so we're going to go for spotify first they have average monthly listeners of 2000 2.5 thousand monthly listeners per month and healing from madrid spain following the dawn are one of the most incipient bands with the modern metal scene in europe the band alternatively gut wrenching breakdowns and brutal riffs and emotive screams along with elegant clean vocals all mixed with touches of the most current metal core and that's it's a good good description straight in the about you you know exactly what you're going to get and i am excited to see you know where they've come musically you know to, to with this new literally a brand new release um so let's get the message <laughs> let's get the message from fallen at dawn hey guys how you doing my name is danny and i play drums for fallen at dawn we are a metalcore band from madrid spain and would like to present to you our new single called echo I hope you like it as much as I do. And also, it's our pleasure to be here right now. Thank you so much to you guys for taking us out. We love you, mate. We hope to see all of you soon. Take care. Much love, brother. Much love, brother. Let's jump over to this other screen and check out what the band are going to be bringing. They're such nice lads. I'm ready for this. So this is Echo Falling at Dawn. <laughs> are we gonna go brutal? Oh, we are. Are we? Are we not? Wonderful. You're afraid of clowns. <laughs> this might be a, a trigger warning. <laughs> oh. Extreme vocals doing wonderfully well. That belt through the fry, that was the, the belt with distortion was so wonderful there. Bring it, bro. Knockout. This is nightmare fuel. Some of the images is brilliant, man. You're pleased in my gothic heart right now. <gasps> Where are we going, man? Freaky clowns? Scary witch like, maybe? It's like brilliantly dark. The layer in there is wonderful. The, the, 
atmospheric. This video, I love this song. New favorite song from Falling at Dawn. Hands down, my favorite song from Falling at Dawn. That was incredibly produced. The musical production on that was phenomenal. The visuals on the video, what I caught, because honestly, sometimes I forget that I'm meant to watch the screen and I'm just enjoying the song. Sorry, not sorry. That was incredibly awesome. It's a, you know, it is like bands that you literally followed for a long time. And then you've had a period of time where you've not heard any of the newer stuff. And then you dive back in to see where they are now. They have a just worlds apart. You know, it's brilliant. It's incredible. And you know, when I say it, come to the UK and, you know, play over here, I know it is easier said than done. You know, I do. I know it. It is easier said than done. But if Fallen the Dawn ever get the chance to come over here, or if I'm ever over in Spain, because that's not too far from me. <laughs> it's not. If I ever get to see them live, it'll be incredible. I have no doubt. So, lads, that was premium. That was tasty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just tasty. Best way to describe it. Next up, we do have a new band for, for and one that I have not heard of. And this was Freeze the Fall. Now, I was suggested Freeze the Fall from the comments section last week. You know, when we did the first episode of the mashup, there was a comment that said you need to check out Freeze the Fall and the song daughters of witches now i have reached out to the band and I, it might have been too short notice because he said they would try and get me a clip so if they do manage to get me a clip before sunday it'll appear on the screen now i kept my phone right here just in case any of the bands sent through their clips just in time <laughs> and they did this is a message from freeze the falls i'll drop this in the video let's see what they've got hey we're freeze the fall welcome to gas mash reacts my name is quinn i'm the lead vocalist and guitarist my name's aria i'm the bassist and backup vocalist my name is jonah and i'm the drummer we hope you love daughters of witches this is our second single off our debut ep thrones we wrote this song about women feeling unseen and voiceless or as if they're not being taken seriously yeah we can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments and we hope you enjoy Woo! <laughs> <laughs> i like that i like that a lot now that message Brilliant message in the song. Lovely to meet them. And like I said, this is my first time uh, experience with Freeze the Fall. So let's get into the song and back to the reaction. Thank you very much for letting us check this song out. But this is Freeze the Fall, Daughters of Witches. Let's see what we've got over on Spotify. Over on Spotify, they've got around 3,000 monthly listeners. And they've got, they've got things written in the About Us, which I like. So welcome to the cold front. We, we have Freeze the Fall, a hard rock power trio from British Columbia, Canada. The band is composed of Quinn, lead guitar and vocals, Aria, bass guitar and backup vocals, and Jonah on drums. And I hope I pronounced those names right. That's, this, this is my first step with this band. I don't know anything from their past. <laughs> the only thing I know is what you know. Now let's dive into the song Daughters of Witches and see what they're going to bring us. Oh, we're going dark again. We're going dark again. Well, this is Daughters of Witches, so it was going to be dark. Ooh. Honestly, I need to start strapping this hat and glasses down. Ooh. I'm loving this. I'm getting slyly vibes. I love this. Where 
มือคุณอ vocals on this I love the tone I'm frozen right now. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh. I'm. <laughs> so happy with the playlist this <laughs> week. That's too good. I love this. That rasp, that ending on the note. What a voice, man. What a voice. You know when the drummer just takes a moment to go. You, it's getting heavier. Come on. You've got this flyly, the warning mix and in their own sound, and I like this a lot. That was so good, like ridiculously good. I'm not kidding. Like when I first started, I was like, is this Flyleaf? <laughs> and then as we go on, we got this wonderful mix, this blend of two artists that I am fans of, you know, Flyleaf and The Warning in this different unit, this different sound, Freeze the Fall. I'm in, I am in. Like, legit, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I was taken aback because there was moments where I'm like, no, that, do I, like, this is too good. <laughs> for, and thank you for suggesting it in the comments. Thank you very much, because without you suggesting it in the comments, I wouldn't have known about the band. Fact. Like, I'd never heard of Freeze the Fall. This is their new release, Daughters of Witches, and I am two feet in. Like... I need to hear more. Like, legit, I'm going to go binge more right now. <laughs> but I won't, because we've got two more artists to go through. <laughs> that was wonderful. And the blend in this playlist is incredible. Like, I would quite happily set these artists in a massive, you know, like literally just pick five of their songs and just add them to a playlist and go all the way through them for the afternoon, you know. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. The next ones that we have up, this is the band When We Were Wolves. Now let's go over to let's go over to Spotify. Now, when I was reading reading this, like When We Were Wolves, our metalcore band So over on Spotify, When We Were Wolves, our metalcore, our metalcore band hailing from South Wales, who like blurring the line between heavy and melodic. Okay. I mean, <laughs> back after five year hiatus with several new faces and new music. Okay, so they had a hiatus and come back. I respect that. They had a bit of time, said, you know, we need a bit of a break, and now they've come back to it. Now, reading on, um, previously toured um, as a support of both the Blackout, Devil Sold His Soul, 
I peered at 2,000 trees. And played shores with buried tomorrow, bleed from within while she sleeps. That, you know where it is? You're calling out to me right now. <laughs> you are well and truly calling out to me right now. I'm in. I mean, we do have a message from this band as well, which I'm loving that. Let me know if you're liking this segment. I'm personally loving this segment, you know, because we get to know a little bit more about them. Hey guys, Mix from When We're Wolves. Thank you to guys for checking out our new song. It's much appreciated. Uh, it's our first single in seven years. Um, <laughs> Love this. Don't have an episode. Thank you very much to everybody that I've checked it out. We really appreciate it. Woo! <laughs> you know it is what did i say about making it personal and making it real and it's not just you know you have you have this brilliant music uh, video where everyone's so polished everyone's everything's all you know as it needs to be on a music video and you get <laughs> that is personal and that is down to earth you know i'm loving these messages thank you to all the bands who've sent one in because it's it's wonderful it's just incredible to see this side. But let's get over into the music video for When We Were Wolves. And this is Hate Yourself. And this is the first time I'm hearing them. You, you heard him say there's seven years since their last single release. Spotify showing us five years hiatus no, since the hiatus. You know, that's that's a long time. That's a long time to kind of take your own space, home what you want to do and come back with something that is I'm going to have to check something out from before, you know, to kind of see where they were from and where they went to. But this is Hate Yourself. Let's check it out. No messing around. Even the sound. Come on, I need the singer. So there's a line to open up with. Love that tone. Oh, bro. Anybody else getting like a arena? <laughs> Where's that good bro? <laughs> what just happened? You don't know hate until you hate yourself. I was about to say, <laughs> these arena vocals, powerful, beautiful vocals, and then he just punched and knocked me out <laughs> with those screams. What a voice. is perfect. Blown away right now. Arena. Filling vocals, light is in the air, and then I'm circle picked at the same time. They've got a blend 
going on right here. That I am excited for. Legit excited. Like, legit voice. <laughs> well, I know that made no sense. I just went, last, like, legit voice. <laughs> what I mean by that is, what an incredible vocal. Like, when I was talking and saying, it's like arena style, and then all of a sudden he, he right hooks me with some incredible extreme vocals. I, I need more. You know what I was when I was listening to this song, and we'll go to to the line in a second. But I could honestly see myself. You know when you have all your best friends around you, and you're having a a few drinks together, and you get to the point where you're singing along with a chorus. You know, you're just absolutely belting your lungs out with you. Uh, you know, it's just incredible. And lines like, you don't know here till you hate yourself. Why am I always wishing that I'm someone else? You know, you can tell the pain in the lyrics that sit behind it. And I want to know the story. I want to... This, that was... Blummin... Bloody awesome. You know what I mean? It, there's, there's no two ways to do, other describe it than that was incredible. I'm glad they came back. <laughs> because I didn't know about them before. They went on hiatus, they've come back, and they've come back swinging, because that, for me, is an anthem. Plain and simple anthem. Can you imagine being at a festival? You know what I mean? And that's on, and you all know the song. You know when you just want to describe something as a moment? That was a moment. Damn, that was incredible. Next up, we've got ourselves CKR. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm how that's how it's pronounced. The new artist to me. This is CKR with the song Breathe. Um, I'm just going to go over to Spotify. Okay, so this, I, this artist, I don't have anything on Spotify for. So this could be their brand new start. And I do know this artist from a previous band. But this is their own now. I know nothing about it. <laughs> I know nothing about the style, and there's nothing on Spotify, and it probably is there, and I just can't find it, you know, I've typed in, and I could, it didn't come up for me. So, I'm going in as blind as blind can be right now. This could be a dance track for all I know. <laughs> I know it's not, it can't be, because I know the previous band they've been in. But let's go, let's go in with the song Breathe by CKR. No dance music. Are you playing all the instruments, bro? Awesome. Oh, 
that's old school. That's that old school post hardcore. Clearing up on the screens. The blend of the screams with this powerful, melodic chorus. I'm sure <laughs> it could be my eyes, but it looks like you're playing all the instruments, bro. That's off here. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. I need that wrist. Oh, is it still a little bit longer? Maybe I cut it short there. Don't think I did though. Oh, what a playlist, man. Really brought it for me. And Joy is if it's gonna be one of those moments where I look back over and go, no, no, it definitely wasn't the same person playing all the instruments, but I think it was. I think it was. It would be hilarious if it wasn't. But I think it wasn't. If it is, that's pretty damn incredible, bro. Loved the riff. Loved... I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, from the, the entrance of the song, was, you know, we're going heavy, we're going heavy. And you don't know what you're going to get in the chorus because it was, it was, like, cut. You know, like, you've got this beautiful melodic chorus with a belt. Um, and you've got these furious lyrics and, the, like, furious fries and the tonalities throughout the verses... I can't wait. I am actually looking forward to hearing more. I can't wait to hear more from... Is it CKR? You'll have to let me know how I pronounce that, man. <laughs> You'll have to let me know. Like, drop in the comments for this playlist that we've gone through. Set for tomorrow. Let us send home. Our promise. Porter Robinson. Fall in the dawn. Freeze the fall. When we were wolves. And CKR. I've loved it. I've literally been on... And a roller coaster of, of, of vibes and sounds and music. I just love it. You know what I mean? And this is why I'm doing this on the weekly because I think when we do like a reaction on its own, I love doing those. But I feel like when we do it in a in a playlist, you know, like I said this last week, if we go back to when Top of the Pops was a thing, and you know, the first time that I ever experienced to, you know, bands like Evanescence were on were on a one particular friday you know it's just an experience because you listen because you might have come on here because you're a fan of of any of the bands i've mentioned and then you hear another one you go i haven't heard of them and now i'm gonna go check them out that's the whole like vibe for me we used to go into like cd shops like when they were everywhere you, you know they would have like album of the week on you know that was how i found alkaline trio you know, that's how I found out about Alkaline Trio. I walked in the shop to buy some music and heard, like, um, Stupid Kid um, by Alkaline Trio, and that was the one that got me hooked on that band. Those moments, that's what I'm trying to bring each week. Thank you for the bands who literally sent in the, the permission, you know, because it's, it's very much a case of, like, last week we had two songs that were blocked, and it took ages to get the copyright and all that kind of stuff to get the playlist up. But every single time I do this now, it'll be permission from the bands, and that's incredible. Record labels, PR firms, and the bands. Thank you for the video clips, because I loved that. <laughs> Absolutely loved it, because you get that real, tangible thing. You know what I mean? For the message from the band. Love that. 
If you're enjoying these, drop in the comments about anything that you've watched or anything you want to see, but also anybody you'd like to see on here. And if I can do that, then we'll do that because that's how we got Freeze the Fall on. I hadn't heard of them until I read the comment on last week's. So that was just a wonderful playlist. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to listen to all those songs again right now. <laughs> not just because I'm going to edit it. I'm actually going to listen to the full songs again. <laughs> Have an incredible week. I look forward to next week's as well. Much love from me because that was epic. See you later.